INFPs naturally excel in using extroverted intuition, NE, by adding layers of ideas and possibilities to create new options and innovations. As an INFP, you thrive on exploring various paths, much like a sculptor who keeps adding clay to create this expansive and dynamic form. But constantly expanding without ever refining or defining can lead to a cluttered and unfocused life path where your true essence might remain hidden under the surface. By incorporating introverted intuition, NI, you can carve away the excess and start to focus on the underlying truths and meanings, the deeper meanings of your experiences. Like a marble sculptor who removes pieces to reveal the statue within, NI allows you to strip away these distractions and uncover profound insights and core values that may have been overshadowed or forgotten while we are in search of endless possibilities. What if your constant exploration is actually obscuring the masterpiece waiting to be discovered within you? By embracing NI, you gain the ability to see beneath the surface of your vibrant ideas, ensuring that your creative pursuits lead to meaningful and fulfilling realizations. This doesn't mean that introverted intuition will remove the need for extroverted intuition. That's one of our strengths. We don't want to remove that. What it means is that we can learn to better use both sides of the idea's domain to get unstuck in life. Jung described introverted intuition as a process that involves delving deep into the unconscious, accessing hidden trends, relationships, and possibilities. Introverted intuitives are typically visionary or prophetic, given their ability to see or foresee future events or trends from current patterns and abstract theories. So in essence, introverted intuition allows people to see beyond the immediate and tangible to focus on the hidden meanings and future potentials or the narrowed down singular potential, making it a key function for deep thinkers, strategists, and visionaries. Understanding and connecting with your unconscious mind is crucial for tapping into deeper levels of self-awareness and intuition. Hypnosis and meditation are two powerful techniques that improve your connection with your unconscious mind. These methods help quiet the conscious mind, allowing you to access the rich, and often untapped resources of your unconscious. When I began studying hypnosis in 2020, it drastically improved my life, and now I have an amazingly effective and fun way to use my intuition for self-development, problem-solving, client work, minor changes or minor things like finding lost items, and even health issues. Most of the time, I feel this compulsion to use extroverted intuition and brainstorm more ideas. But when I stop myself and I slow down and I ask my introverted intuitive side, I get a brilliant answer. While the benefits of accessing the unconscious mind are significant, many people are skeptical about hypnosis and even meditation. They may fear losing control or believe that these practices are too esoteric or the will of the devil. Trance is an everyday experience. Getting lost in a good story, you're in trance. Zoning out, you're in trance. Driving somewhere and not remembering exactly how you got there, you were in trance. A study by R. Willemson reported significant improvements in psychological well-being through the use of hypnosis in patients with alopecia. The research showed that hypnotherapy not only helped with specific medical conditions like alopecia, but also had a profound effect on improving mental health, vitality, and overall emotional well-being. I've seen some amazing things done with hypnosis, and it is always mind-blowing. And, the, and then I always look at it and like, oh yeah, of course because it's all within the unconscious. Some people might argue that these techniques or self-hypnosis or meditation requires too much time and effort, but even in short daily sessions, these can produce noticeable benefits. 
I can instantly put myself into a trance now and gain access to more of my brain and unconscious insights. It's like shower thoughts on demand. Engaging in regular hypnosis or meditation sessions allows you to forge a deeper connection with your unconscious mind, with your inner self, and it leads to greater creativity and problem solving abilities. This practice can transform your approach to challenges, making you more resilient and more focused on what matters most to you. So once you've established a strong connection with your unconscious, then it's crucial to trust the insights that emerge. Trusting your inner guidance, especially insights gained from a strengthened connection with your unconscious, is key to living authentically. This trust helps you make decisions that truly reflect your values and desires. It involves listening and acting on the intuitive nudges that guide you in your daily life. Many INFPs that I've worked with struggle to trust their intuition. They're afraid that it's unreliable or that it'll lead them down a path that they can't return from. There's a common belief that logical, rational decisions are superior. People might say that impulsive decisions lead to poor outcomes. But when intuition is informed by a well-connected unconscious mind, then it becomes a reliable compass. Ignoring this can lead to choices that actually don't align with your deeper self. Your introverted intuition, the mystic within the fellowship of your psyche, whispers quietly. It gives you a quick insight into who someone is or what to do. Often we hear it and we think it's wrong. Unfortunately, most of us hear that voice and then we try to smother it with logic or fear. By trusting your inner guidance, you will make decisions that are not only effective but also deeply fulfilling. Think of a few times when you felt a strong intuition about a decision or a person what was the outcome when you focused on it? And what was the outcome when you didn't? How did each choice align with your deeper values or what's important to you? For me, that voice completely changed my life. And it took me from my life as an uncomfortable and shy 18 year old INFP living in Michigan to me now, 40 years old this year, confident and married with kids in Tokyo, Japan. Trusting your intuition is just the beginning. Reflecting on these insights can enrich your understanding of yourself and improve your problem solving capabilities. Reflection is an essential step in fully engaging and integrating the insights gained from your unconscious mind into your conscious life. It involves taking time to think about and analyze the feelings, the thoughts, and intuitions that you experience. This practice helps you understand the deeper meaning behind these intuitive hits. While reflecting on insights might seem straightforward, it often gets overlooked because of the hustle of daily life. Like I hear you say, I don't have time to journal. Maybe you think reflection is a luxury that you can't afford, but failing to reflect can lead to repetitive patterns and missed opportunities for growth. Reflection isn't just a self indulgence. It's a lot of fun, but it's not just that. It's about making practical use of your intuitive experiences and your feelings and the day to day happenings. It's improvement through reflection. Imagine constantly telling someone exactly what they can do to improve their life, only to be ignored or shunned. Eventually, you'd stop trying to help. Well, when you write down your insights, you're thanking your unconscious mind, your mystic, for providing you with a vision of a new pathway that you can take to get to where you want to go in life. If you want to tap into the endless creativity of your unconscious mind and your introverted intuition, like Leonardo da Vinci, Marie Curie, Thomas Edison, Frida Kahlo, Virginia Woolf, Mark Twain, they all used journals to reflect. Then next time you experience an intuitive insight, pause for a moment, 
immediately write it down in a note or on your phone, small notebook that you carry with you, briefly jot down the context. So what was the insight? What were you doing at the time? And then make a conscious decision to act on that insight as soon as possible. Afterward, then reflect briefly on the outcome. When you start reflecting more over your insights and the direction that you're going in life, you'll be surprised how smoothly your life begins to pan out in the way that you want. Regular reflection allows you to not only recognize, but also appreciate the value of your insights, turning fleeting intuitions into actionable knowledge. This makes your intuitive process more accessible and applicable in everyday situations. Build a connection with your unconscious mind. Practice trusting your inner guidance and reflect on insights and appreciate them. Doing these three things transforms your relationship with your inner self, with your introverted intuition, your mystic, and enhances decision making and overall quality of life. So if you're ready to deepen your understanding of introverted intuition and I and make the most of your inner wisdom, then first subscribe and then click the link here to learn more. I don't know what that is.